Institute of Cancer Research in London is a fantastic organisation that we're big enough to have real scientific impact and have all sorts of researchers working together from clinicians to physicists to chemists but we're not too big to be laboured. So it's that dynamism that has allowed us to identify so many new treatments and diagnostic tools that have really made such a big difference to patients' lives. On a daily basis I can be in clinic in the morning and then within five minutes be in, in the lab discussing experiments and, and that is unique. It highlights the opportunities of working in an institution where there is a great drug development program and very closely linked to the Royal Marsden Hospital which is of course one of the leading cancer centres in the world. It's unlike any institution across the country. For me it's, it's the perfect balance between academia and industry. The expertise and the knowledge that people have is just second to none. The piece of equipment to my left here is called the ECHO and it has greatly improved our high throughput screening capabilities here at the Institute. And the reason why pieces of equipment like the ECHO are so useful is that it allows organisations like the Institute of Cancer Research to work on a far greater range of cancer targets than would previously have been the case. I think it's important to remember at the ICR that there's not just lab-based staff. There's a whole host of support that goes alongside that, from people working in fundraising, people who do work on intellectual property, and that's the thing that makes ICR research so accessible to those people in the outside world. My name's Alan Cumber. I am the Deputy Director of Facilities Services, and a lot of the people we employ actually um, have come from a scientific background. So we now have a team of health and safety specialists, but every single one of them has a laboratory background. So they understand the people they're trying to help. We find that makes for a really vibrant attitude and a really good service level. My name is Emily Brady, and I'm a scientific officer at the ICR. I work in the procurement school facility. We help the research scientists at the ICR by providing a scientific service that helps their research. It's a very prestigious institute, it's doing world class research, it's got a great social life, there's the PH bar, always organising events, it's a great place to work. We have frequently uh, meetings, seminars uh, where other experts uh, present their work, maybe the start of new collaborations, new projects, where you can also push further your own research, the research of your lab. We also have uh, collaborations with other big organisations across the UK and around the world. Having this collaboration it takes you to the next level of learning and you incorporate it into your own research. New facilities, new equipment, new laboratory areas. We've got really good new facilities in most areas. I think probably the best part of my job is that I work with the most interesting and talented scientists. We're one of the highest rated academic institutions in the country, so we're always going to have the best science stories to tell. And one cannot overemphasise the, the, the benefit of having two institutions which are so tightly linked and that close link, both physically and conceptually, allows us to um, be driven by this aim to improve the lives of cancer patients through research and high quality treatment. I would, I would summarise it like this. I came down to join the Institute 15 years ago thinking that you know, I would be down here for a year or two and then move back to Scotland. And because of the people I work with and the variety of different scientific projects we have here, I'm still here a decade and a half later.